Hi, I'm Rick Hiddle. I've been in triathlon or involved with racing and coaching for nearly 30 years. I started triathlon in 1983, um, progressed from a complete novice to a professional triathlete, and now I'm a full-time coach. I've got five triathlon tips for you that hopefully you can have a think about and maybe use some of them, and uh, these, these are what they are. I'm going to read them out and then talk to you about them. So. Um, first one, and they're not in any particular order, is uh, rather than waste your time with poor technique, why not seek out a triathlon coach? Um, I see people wasting time all, all the, for, for months and months, not really enjoying what they're do doing, not seeing improvement, and perhaps a coach would take that away and help them and you'd get more quicker. Um, second one is create a strategy for open water. And what this means is rather than get in and, and have problems in cold water, have an a ill-fitting wetsuit, uh, maybe getting cold shot from going in water too quickly, have a strategy that you use before you go training and before you race. And this will really help you uh, in terms of your performance. If you're going to swim in a swimming pool with a certain time, you should always be faster in open water. But a lot of people are slower for many reasons, not swimming in a straight line, um, getting tired in their wetsuit, all those kind of things you can eradicate if you have a, the correct strategy. And again, a little bit of coaching. The third one is uh, I really recommend you don't spend a lot of money if you're get, just getting into triathlon. I would uh, save your money and get what you need, but, but buy on a budget, um, because then if you stay in the sport, you can then upgrade rather than spending loads of money and, uh, and then not, not doing the sport for very long, okay? Fourth one, if you're new to the sport, uh, I think you should try or look for a triathlon club and get people to train with. It's quite a, a lonely sport if you train on your own. Um, personally, I never joined a club till I finished full-time racing, but um, what I found was now when I train with people, it's much more fun, more sociable. You get that camaraderie with people and also people to help you when you're feeling a little bit demotivated or, or maybe needing some help with, with motivation technique, that kind of stuff. So I recommend a triathlon club if you're just getting into the sport, unless you're trying to win, in which case you won't have time to train with other people because you'll be training at their pace and you need to train at your own pace. But again, there's another coaching element there. And the fifth one um, is if you're looking to get faster, then race short rather than long races and progress up to the long races. You need to get your speed to begin with and then progress to longer stuff. As you get older, we tend to do longer races as well. Um, we, we keep our endurance and lose our speed. But if you haven't got the speed in the first place, you're never gonna go fast. So race the sprints, super sprints, and then progress up. In, uh, in training, it's really important that you recover and, uh, and you have energy. And I found that with Cherry Active, I've been able to train myself and also my clients that I coach, uh, keep them in the sport. If they're coming down with something or if their immune system's a little bit down, then Cherry Active is the perfect solution. Uh, you can have the, the capsules or the actual liquid. Um, I, I recommend two capsules in the morning, two in the evening, and then it's amazing how you just don't get sick. Um, Racing-wise, if you're racing, then definitely use it as a recovery aid. And, uh, and also if you're doing hard training sessions and you want to help with the, the soreness that you get after the training, then Cherry Active works fantastic. That's my five tips. I hope they work for you. And uh, um, I look forward to seeing you out there on the road.